What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's currently 9:30. I've been up since five. It sounds so sad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's currently 9:30. Been up since five, but we're about to get our own workout in and I thought why not throw together a size guide video for y'all Because a lot of you guys are asking me questions in the Instagram You can follow me there at fit to the wrist in you guys were asking me sizing whether to size up or down How to determine your fit those types of questions So I thought I'd throw together this uh, video real quick for you guys So that hopefully it will clear up any confusion and you guys can buy confidently that being said Let's go ahead and dive into the video Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do before even buying anything from them is to measure yourself. So I got my handy dandy tape measure here that I'm not actually gonna use because I know my measurements, but basically you're gonna want to take three different measurements here. You're gonna want to take one of your chest, so right at the nipple line or the widest part of your upper body where your lats flare out. You're gonna want to measure that, write that down. Then you're gonna want to measure your waist or where your belly button is, so you're gonna measure that write that down and then the last measurement you'd probably want to take is the length of your legs so for this one um, there's so many ways to do it you could either start from the inner thigh and go down to your ankle bone or you could start outside and go to your ankle bone if you don't trust my word for it go look up how to measure your legs I don't give a shit. that's what works for me but yeah those are the three measurements you're going to want to take chest waist and length and that will give you a good baseline of where you're going to fall size wise After you have your measurements, tip number two is going to be to check the size guides of each of the individual products. I say individual products because each piece has a slightly different size guide. So they might be similar, but they're different, okay? Um, so make sure you guys check that individual size guide for each of the products, whether it's a hoodie, tank top, bottoms, I don't care. You want to check that size guide regardless because that'll help determine the next two things, which is how do you want it to fit? and what are you gonna be wearing it for? And I actually have a couple pieces up here hanging for us. These will kind of give us an idea of those last two questions. Where did I leave off? <laughs> <laughs> Where did I leave off? After you check the size guide of each of the individual products, you're gonna be left with two things and that's how do you want it to fit and what are you gonna be wearing it for? I actually have a couple pieces hanging here that'll help us determine or help you guys get an idea of how to size and how to pick a certain size for certain pieces. Let's go ahead and start off with layers. All right guys, so touching on the layers aspect here, this is a distressed hoodie, 0227. 0227 in the distress, for the distressed hoodie here, olive green. I got this in a size small, true to size. I noticed that their hoodies you do want to go true to size because they are already sized up. On the size chart, just leave it like this. <laughs> For any other hoodies, I notice that you do want to go true to size because the size chart already sizes it up for you with the intentions of it being a top layer. So for the hoodies, again, check the size guide just to make sure like if you want it even baggier, you know? But for the hoodies, I do go true to size because of the intentions of it already being a top layer. Here's the small. In contrast to that, I have a Tetra Coaches, or sorry, I have a Tetra Sideline jacket here from the Fall 20 collection. Now this one, I went in a medium. You could go true to size if you're just wearing it as its own thing. I went sized up to a medium because I had the intentions of this being a top layer, meaning I would throw this on over a hoodie now, if I were to go small in this, I would not have enough clearance for what I'm doing with it right now and it's wearing it over a hoodie. So, I sized up in this. You guys should do the same if you intend on wearing this over a hoodie or over, you know, as a layering aspect here. But you can see how it fits. It's not too snug in the torso. It allows me to layer, top layer it from pockets here. So again, ask yourself when you're picking a size, how do I want it to fit? What am I wearing it for? So I got the sideline jacket. I wanted to wear it as a top layer. Now, if you're someone who wants to wear it by itself and you don't intend on wearing anything baggy underneath it, you can get away going true to size. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how the sideline jacket would fit. 
It's definitely not something that you'd just want to buy and not have an idea of how you'd want it to fit, right? Especially when you're dropping this much money on, on gym clothes, you want to have an idea of how it's going to fit, how you want it to look on you. So we're going to get into the tank tops. Um, this is an example of two things, actually. Checking the size guide for the individual products and how you want it to fit. Underneath this, I have the compre or not compression. I have the mock neck tank top. This is actually DSG0354. Right now I'm wearing an extra small. I'm wearing an extra small and you can see how it fits here. Pretty snug to the body. Not too much give here in the back of the shoulder. Initially I didn't get an extra small though. I actually got a small and that's because I didn't check the size chart. Um, so this one does run a bit longer and a bit wider in the chest measurements but I didn't know that because I didn't check the size chart. It still fits good but it doesn't fit how I wanted it to and it's this compression look I was going for right. So I'm gonna go throw on the small for you just so you can see what I'm talking about here. The length on the extra small is so much better for me uh, as well as the shoulder region. It's not nearly as baggy up here and like I said I intended on wearing this by itself not so much as a layer um, other than like you know throwing on a hoodie over it. So the small, we'll throw that on for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So here's the small right off the bat. Big difference, right? You can see it's like slinkying or accordioning. I just made that word up. You can see it's uh, scrunching up here in the torso, up in the shoulders, definitely a lot more give here. Now, this doesn't look too shabby in terms of the fit like by itself and neither does it look too shabby over you know wearing this underneath a t-shirt but for the purposes of how i wanted to wear it and how i wanted it to look i definitely wanted more of a snug fit to this one but the length's insane insanely long here coming all the way down pretty much mid thigh that is intentional by them i believe uh, so that when you're doing floor work if you're doing burpees sprawls anything of that nature deadlifts this tank top will not ride up on you. Again, how do you want it to fit? And that'll determine what size you get. Now I am 5'9", 165 pounds. I already gave you my chest measurements and waist measurements. So you can see how much of a difference a small and an extra small have in terms of the fit, the fit. So again, you can see the, the differences here. And then you can determine how you want it to fit for yourself. Back in the extra small, that does it for tops. Before we get into the last part of this video, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or reach out to me through my Instagram. I'm more active on there in terms of re replying to questions. So I know I didn't cover a lot of the pieces here. If there's anything specific you need to ask, feel free to drop it down below. So with that being said, now we're gonna get into the bottoms. This ties into the how do you want it or what do you want it to do? How do you want it to perform? And we got two examples here. I'm gonna start off with this one. This is the five inch uh, cargo short, 0329, the five inch cargo liner short. I got this true to size and it's a shorter inseam length. This is intended for conditioning and cardio, I believe. That's why the length is shorter. If you guys have ever seen like runner shorts, they're pretty high up. They are intended for that higher intensity functional training, whatever you wanna call it. So I love these shorts. These are my favorite shorts. I have a video of that coming soon. My favorite products from ASRV. Make sure you, you know, for the 500th time, check that size guide. See you guys that train athletically, lots of jumps, bounds, sprints, runs, whatever the case may be. You guys are gonna love these five inch liner shorts. And in stark contrast to these, my bodybuilders, my power lifters, my gym enthusiasts, the ones that, you know, you aren't doing all that explosive plyometric crazy stuff. You guys are gonna love these ones. These are the seven inch liner shorts. 0202 is the DSG, the product number. Now going back to what I said for my power lifters, bodybuilders, you guys are gonna love these shorts. I sized up in these in a medium for that exact reason I said earlier, athletic training. These ones hug the quads really well if you go true to size. I sized up in that for that exact reason. It felt like I was wearing two different liners, right? I had the liner here and then I had the actual short. For me, the way that my legs fit in these for a small, it was just too tight. I felt like I was wearing two different liner layers. My shorts had shorts, okay? For you guys that love that fitted look, you can definitely get away with true to size. I sized up because I like a little bit of give in that area. Don't get me wrong, I, I do own both, but it is a vibe. 
Uh, most of the time you'll catch me in the mediums just because they're more comfortable for me to run in. They're more comfortable just overall. But then on those days, you know, nothing wrong with wanting to show off your hard work. So on those days that I really want to flex, both figuratively and literally, I'll wear the smalls just so that my uh, leg physique shows off a bit more. But most of the time, you'll catch me in the mediums. The one drawback I do have with the built-in liner shorts is the liner itself de determining, you know, going size up or true to size. For me personally, the small liners fit great. Just again, going into that compression effect. However, the mediums here, the shorts fit amazing. They fit perfect. But then the liner is just a little bit too baggy for me. Like if there was a way to get the small liner and then the shorts separate in that case, you would want to do the linerless version of these shorts. If you're like me and you like the compression effect of the liner, uh, maybe you'd want to get a separate liner and then size up in the seven inch shorts here. Again, personal preference to keep things simple, check that size chart, that's going to be your saving grace. And then from there you can determine how you like it to fit. So just to wrap things up for these bottoms here, my functional calisthenics, runners, athletes, um, high, you know, plyometric training type, peoples you guys are gonna love these five inch shorts and that goes for any of any of the five inch shorts here you can get the tetra ones you can get the cargo ones and then for my gym goers my power lifters bodybuilders the ones you know you guys aren't jumping around everywhere you guys are gonna love these seven inch shorts a little bit thicker of the fabric here and then the fit as well go true to size here you're gonna look great in them they're gonna show off all your hard work just right and then for reference I know I didn't feature any pants in this one right now. I'm wearing their track pants in a size small. This is the silver light material. So lots of stretch to it, right? I can do everything in these. I can deadlift, I can squat, I can jump. All the sorts here. I love how like there's less and less stuff on the rack. But hopefully that clears up some of the questions you might have on sizing. So just think about those things. Measure yourself for one. Then two, check the size guides of each of the pieces that you're going to be checking out. And then the last one would be to ask yourself those questions. How do you want it to fit and what are you wearing it for? So are you going to wear it for a base layer? Are you going to wear it for a top layer? And then are you going to be doing high performance like movements in it? Or are you going to be having more of like a chilled out workout like machines, weightlifting, that type of stuff. So keep those things in mind. Honestly, you can't go wrong. Uh, their customer service is great. So if you guys pick a size, it ends up being too big or too small, don't trip on it. Reach out to their customer service team. They'll take care of you. You don't lose anything but time. So yeah, if you guys have any specific questions, if you want to see any specific product reviews, or if you want me to, you know, dive into certain sizings, reach out to me. You can drop a comment down below. You can shoot a DM to me on Instagram. I tend to post outfits on there uh, in my stories and as posts, so you guys can keep up with me through that. If you found this helpful at all, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, it's much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Meow.